Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. There are more than 20,000 unmarried single mothers in Korea. Beyond the struggles they face rearing their children, often the hardest part of being a single mother is having to face unkind social perceptions. Recently, the Kyungi Provincial Assembly began actions to protect single mothers. Jung, a single mother, still faces difficulties in during the harsh, judgmental eyes of others. According to Statistics Korea, the number of single mothers in the nation exceeded 20,000 in 2017. To prevent the isolation of single mothers under social prejudice, the Kyungi Provincial Assembly began actions with the holding of a related social forum last year. 미혼 부모는 계속 증가하는 추세고요. 또 그에 따른 관심은 부족하고 또 사회적인 인식이 부정적인 것이 현실입니다. 임신 출산 가정 지원과 보육 등 부담 없이 키울 수 있는 환경 조성이 필요하다고 저는 생각을 했습니다. Currently, there are discussions within the Kyungi Provincial Assembly regarding ways in which to support single mothers and their children. 태어났는데도 불구하고 인정받지 못한다는 것 이게 가장 또큰 문제라고 생각을 하기 때문에 그 문제를 함께 다룰 수 있는 지금 정책들을 지금 준비하고 있습니다. With outlying household types becoming more significant parts of society, social recognition of these families must change accordingly as exemplified by the Kyungi Provincial Assembly. In tandem with its recently announced policy to execute 64% of this year's annual budgets during the first half of the year, Kyungi Province announced another policy to invest 1.9 trillion Korean won in economic recovery as necessitated by negative economic indices such as the highest unemployment rate in nine years. This policy encompasses 88 projects in five categories funded by the provincial and local governments, as well as by national subsidies. Kyungi Province will form a special task force led by the provincial governor to oversee the progress of these projects. The primary objectives of these projects include the promotion of SMEs, small businesses, and new industries, as well as the mitigation of regulations. Illegal trade practices such as collusion and paper companies will be eliminated, while a result-sharing system among small, medium, and large industries will be introduced for common growth. The SME Promotion Fund will see a significant increase of 20%. In addition, diverse business revival and restart support will also be expanded. In April, the issuance of regional vouchers as alternative forms of payment will begin throughout the province. The projects for new industries focus primarily on deregulation. Kyungi Province also plans to accelerate the development of five techno valleys as well as autonomous and hydrogen vehicle infrastructure and will promote new technology development through cooperation with industry, academia and research institutes. Other projects include customized support for social economy enterprises and for combined peace and economy projects. On February 12th, this year's first extraordinary session of the Kyungi Provincial Assembly began. During this session, 51 items, including an ordinance draft regarding vehicle emission control, will be discussed.
This ordinance draft pertains to operation restrictions on old diesel and LPG-fueled vehicles imposed in conjunction with emergency microdust reduction order issuances. Other items on the agenda include a presentation of a Kyungi Taxi Fare Adjustment Proposal. This Kyungi Provincial Assembly Extraordinary Session, the first of the year, will run for eight days. On the first day of the session, the Provincial Assembly appointed three committees with special tasks including the investigation of the recent explosion at a Pochon power plant. In his opening address, Kyungi Province Governor Lee Jae Myung disclosed this year's administrative objectives, including the realization of cooperative governance and basic income policies. The first day of the session ended with five-minute speeches by assembly members. 지속적으로 시장별, 점포별 특성화 모델을 개발하여 전통시장 및 상인의 스스로 자생력을 갖출 수 있도록 지원 사업을 보다 다양화하고 질적 수준도 높여 나가야 할 것입니다. 경기도 스포츠 클리닉 센터 도입은 물론 도정 전반을 아우르는 성폭력 근절 총괄 기구를 만들어 종합적인 해결책을 조속히 마련할 것을 강력히 촉구하는 바입니다. 일본, 영국 등 선진국도 폐기한 낡은 수도권 규제 이제는 바꿔야 합니다. 시간이 걸린다면 우선적으로 시행령을 개정하여 팔당 특대 지역이 아닌 곳만이라도 성장 관리 권역으로 변경하거나. The 333rd Extraordinary Session of the Kyungi Provincial Assembly will end on February 19th with the second general meeting. Following its creation last month, the Kyungi Provincial Administration Assembly Policy Council held its first meeting on February 11th. During the meeting, seven proposals were made and briefly discussed. Chaired jointly by the Kyungi Province Vice Governor for Peace and the Kyungi Provincial Assembly Democratic Party representative, the 12 members from the Provincial Administration and 14 members from the Provincial Assembly discussed seven items at the opening meeting. Three proposals made by the Administration, three proposals made by the Assembly, and a joint proposal regarding the operation of the Council. The three proposals made by the Kyungi Provincial Administration include those pertaining to new town development, the sole beltway name change and standard labor expenses. The Kyungi Provincial Assembly also made three proposals pertaining to public organization executive appointment hearings, Provincial Assembly office expansion, and indoor school gymnasium construction. The Kyungi Provincial Administration Assembly Policy Council will meet in tandem with the current Provincial Assembly session and discuss policy proposals. This year marks the 100th anniversary of Korea's March 1st independence movement and the establishment of the government in exile. In commemoration, Gyeonggi Province is organizing a number of events. Organized under the theme of From Past Centennial to Future Millennium, these events are organized in three categories. Commemorate and Memorize, Introspect and Prospect, and Embrace and Proceed. In the Commemorate and Memorize category, 29 cultural events will be organized jointly with 21 cities and counties of the province. This year, information boards will also be installed at 65 independence movement sites in addition to those already installed at 62 sites last year. The Kyungi Provincial Museum will hold a special independence movement centennial exhibition from March 1st until the end of June. 1919년 4월에 이미 민주공화정이라는 것을 채택을 하였고 그것이 지속이 되었고 그것은 3.1운동의 결실이라고 할수 있습니다. 
어, 대한 독립 만세. <웃음> 그 한마디가 지금의 우리나라 대한민국을 이끌어왔다고 합니다. In the introspect and prospect category, Gyeonggi Province plans to publish related books and sponsor various private commemorative projects. The projects in the embrace and proceed category will include the invitation of overseas Koreans and the development of thematic tour courses. On April 11, the centennial anniversary of the establishment of the Korean government in exile, the descendants of patriots living overseas, including those in Russia, Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan, will be invited to centennial events at Imjengak Peace Nuri Park. 도민들이 직접 참여하고 경험할 수 있는 다양한 프로그램을 통해서 경기 도민으로서의 자부심을 느낄 수 있도록 저희가 열심히 준비하고 있으니까 도민 여러분들의 많은 관심과 참여를 부탁드립니다. The centennial events of the March 1st independence movement and government in exile establishment will inspire Gyeonggi residents with the history of Korean independence. The Gyeonggi Agricultural Research and Extension Services, or GERS, recently held a Korean condiment making event for foreign students. The lunar month of January, which usually falls in February, is regarded as an ideal time during which to prepare Korean condiments. Ganjang, soy sauce, and gochujang, red chili paste, are two representative Korean condiments. At this event, foreign students wearing red bandanas learn the entire process of how these condiments are made and enjoyed a traditional January full moon day meal made with them. Tôi cảm thấy rất thú vị khi hôm nay mà đã được trực tiếp đi làm các món tương ớt như này. Nó rất là thú vị. Tôi cảm thấy rất là vui ạ. Một trải nghiệm rất là bổ ích và giúp chúng tôi có nhiều kinh nghiệm và biết cái món ăn truyền thống của Hàn Quốc. This condiment making event was organized to introduce these Korean intangible assets to foreign students during the lunar month of January. 우리 도민뿐만 아니라 외국인에게도 널리 알려서 우리의 고유한 음식 문화가 잘 계승될 수 있도록 노력하고자 합니다. GERS has also been organizing traditional Korean culinary culture programs for multicultural families on an annual basis. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.